4 Habits to Improve Your Financial Situation. Before we start with the video, only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed. So please subscribe, it's free and you can always change your mind. For the biggest part of my life, I used to experience crushing financial stress. Growing up, my parents didn't have a lot of money. And when I got my first job, I suffered from a bad gambling addiction and lost all of my money, thousands of dollars. I couldn't even pay back a small loan to a colleague at the time. Being sick and tired of experiencing so much financial stress, I decided to turn everything around. I vowed to learn everything there was about personal finance and investing. I picked up a ton of books, read every article I could and spent my days studying the art and science of money. Today, I can proudly say that things are different for me. Therefore, in this video, I will share four financial habits that helped me go from absolutely rock bottom broke to being on the path towards financial freedom. I'm not claiming to be financially free yet, but I'm on a much better path than I used to be. Habit 1. Don't look rich. The goal is to be rich, not look rich. Yet, most people waste so much money on looking rich that they prevent themselves from actually being rich. You see, when you spend a lot of money on stuff that makes you look rich, designer clothes, a brand new car, the latest iPhone, you don't have enough money left over to invest in financial assets. And without investing in financial assets, you will never achieve true financial freedom. Like Robert Kiyosaki said, the key to financial freedom and great wealth is a person's ability to convert earned income into passive and or portfolio income. Each month you want to invest a certain percentage of your income into stocks, real estate or other investments. The more you invest, the more money you have working for you. Personally, I see each invested dollar like an employee that works for me, generating portfolio income. The goal is to get your money to generate more money for you. That's true financial freedom. That's when you escape the financial rat race. This however isn't possible when all of your money is spent on stuff that makes you look rich. Sports cars, fancy clothes, expensive gadgets, etc. Habit 2. Learn high income skills. I have found that the more I learn, the more I earn. The reason why is simple. The more skills mastered, the more value you can bring to your customers or organization. The more value you can bring to your customers or organization, the more money you will make. That is, of course, when you are learning high income skills. High income skills are more complex to learn and directly contribute to higher profits. Therefore, the marketplace generously rewards those who master these skills. A few examples of high income skills are coding, marketing, SEO, copywriting, financial management, engineering, website design, sales, leadership, video editing. Remember, the more you learn, the more you will earn. If you want to improve your financial situation, first look at your skill set. Which high income skills have you developed? Are you still learning and improving these skills? Are there other high income skills you could learn on top of what you already know to give you a unique advantage? You should be asking yourself these questions if you want to earn more money, whether with your own business or while working for someone else. Habit 3. Invest in what you know. As mentioned earlier, it's important to invest in financial assets so you can start letting your money work for you. When you generate portfolio income from your investments, you are on your path towards financial freedom. However, when it comes to investing, it's critical to invest in what you know. It's critical to know your circle of competence and stay within it. This is for two main reasons. First, the most costly mistakes usually come from going outside of your circle of competence. Second, the most profitable investments are usually made within your circle of competence. First of all, the most costly mistakes are usually made when you invest in things outside of your circle of competence. When you don't know exactly how a business works or what the asset exactly is that you are putting your money in, you are just gambling, not investing. Like Warren Buffett said, everybody's got a different circle of competence. The important thing is not how big the circle is. The important thing is staying inside the circle. Second of all, you have a unique advantage if you stay within your circle of competence. 
When you are passionate about a specific topic or work in a certain industry for years, you have unique knowledge and insights that can lead to highly profitable investments. You will likely spot great investment opportunities much faster and more accurately in your area of expertise. For example, if you're big time into gaming, you will likely be the first to know which video game, console or gaming gadget is the most popular before the investment professionals on Wall Street know about it. Yet, there seems to be a character trait within most people to invest in the things they understand the least. Maybe because it's new and exciting. Just remember, investing doesn't have to be exciting, it has to be profitable. All in all, there's immense value in staying within your circle of competence. It will not only prevent you from making costly mistakes, but it also increases your odds of finding highly profitable investments. Habit 4. Track your expenses. One of the most useful things you can do to improve your financial situation is to track all of your expenses for one month. It will show you how much money you are actually spending versus how much you think you are spending. Spoiler alert, the first time most people do this, myself included, they discover they are spending much more than they initially thought. Even though it may be painful, knowing exactly how much money you spend each month is invaluable. It will help you reduce unnecessary expenses, save more money and therefore have more capital available to invest. If you don't know exactly how much you are spending each month, you will never truly be in control over your personal finances. Remember, knowledge is only potential power. You need to apply what you've learned. Take care of yourself, we'll see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this video helps you to achieve a smarter living.